Jesus and the director here at St. Raphael Center. We really do all that we can to try to facilitate and create a space where people can uh, have an encounter with, with their God, um, wherever they're coming from, however they're coming. And one hope too is that it's not just for the space of retreat, but that transformation happens in people's lives in some way, that healing happens, um, that they leave here uh, renewed, right? And able to kind of carry what they, what they experience here forth with them so that that is experienced in some way as well outside of these, these walls and these grounds. I just actually just talked to somebody today who was with us for the last couple of days and you know, she said that she had been wanting this time of retreat and people were telling her, oh, go to this cabin or go to this, um, this house in the woods or something. And she said, I really wanted to be in a space that was prayed in, uh, that that was important to her. And um, so she heard about St. Raphael Center and, and that was what she found here, that this is a place of, of prayer, a place that um, is alive with with that, that sense. And so one of the areas, our chapel, we built th about 30 years ago. And uh, the and it's, it's very, you can tell how highly used it is. Uh, there's, there's student groups that go in there. there. We have our own retreatants that, that spend time in there. We have adoration there every day, twice a day. So people are constantly coming and going and the space is very well used and very well cared for, but after 30 years, it shows signs of, of use. And so, you know, there's, and we've had water damage um, with the carpet, um, there's stains on the on the chairs and things that just, it's beyond, there are things that are beyond repair or, or cleaning. So, so to be able to show that it is very cared for um, and that it's a space of, of beauty, um, I think is really important to, to attend to that. that we're also looking at kind of revamping our outdoor, kind of creating a little bit more of an outdoor patio space um, as a lot of groups do come through here. And part of the retreat experience is it's both connection with God, but also connection with, with each other, building community together. And so to create spaces where community can be built uh, when groups come through here. So to maybe put a, a propane fire pit uh, in, in the outdoor dining area, some more comfortable seating with some Adirondack chairs. Um, and then we are in the process of hopefully getting a statue of St. Ignatius um, as a new prayer space, a, a grotto area on the property. Uh, and then of course, um, in terms of financial support, it really is an important way of um, collaborating in, in this mission together. Um, we, we are unable to do our mission without, um, without that financial support to be able to continue to maintain a very old house uh, that tends to have a lot of um, repair needs. We cannot survive without our donors and our volunteers uh, here at the center. We really work very hard to try to keep our costs low so that way as many people as that cost does not become a, a prohibitive factor for somebody to make a retreat. Um, we also do that in, in the way that we um, use and care for our resources um, and trying to make things last as long as possible and to try to be as sustainable as possible. Um, we, our staff is very multi-talented in many areas and so we make great use of our staff, but we only have so many people on staff as well. So we really rely very much on volunteer support to, um, from feeding the birds to helping with the dishes it's, and watering the plants in the hallway. Um, there's, there's many ways to engage as a volunteer and we really can't do what we do here without that because all people are spiritual in, in some way, shape or form. And so to be able to facilitate um, a connection um, that, that of depth and of, of transcendence that, that people are needing in their lives, I think is, is really important to be able to offer that space to, to everyone.